Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you uh, this uh, setup that I made in uh, in Blender using Spherechalk add-on. So I call it the Bricky City, and you look at it, and you might think, okay, this is probably something that uh, I started with a Voronoi shape, but this is actually um, I started with a with a brick grid, and see if I. If I made any changes, you can see that uh, you can see some kind of pattern happening. And currently, the bricks is looking like uh, kind of like a Voronoi pattern because because I'm adding um, this noise into it. So I better maybe just name it noise. So there is this noise. Without the noise, this is actually just like a, it's looking just like a brick. Actually, it's more like a hexagon now because I'm using the the two thing. I can zero it out, and we get something that looks like a like a brick or like just like a building. So I can I can leave it like this, or just give some kind of randomization, and then give it a little bit of noise. So we get something that's more or less just like a like a Voronoi. It's slightly different though. So so I can leave this part. This part is uh, basically just uh, just adding the noise into the original uh, vertices. So that's pretty simple. If I skip the noise, of course, I get the brick back. So this part we understand very well. So what's happening next is from the brick kind of grid, I am separating. Um, each and every single face using polygon boom. This this guy right here is very important in Sphere Chalk. Um, actually, if you are by doing this, you are really just separating all the faces, but you you suddenly get into like a some kind of a nested situation. So you are actually kind of breaking up all the data and splitting into multiple data. So this is where things started to get pretty interesting because. Here I'm, uh, I'm, I'm using the scale operations, this scale node, but uh, I also make sure the center is correct. So I'm using this center polygon. So this is another like a side node that I use often. And then the scale, of course, if I'm not wrong, I can randomize. Uh, Okay, apparently the scale if I'm randomizing I need to split it so because we are dealing with a like a multiple level of data so let's see if I'm doing it correctly so yeah uh, if you want to have multiple phase you can do that right here so we have random number we have 18 objects but uh, I'm gonna just keep it simple and just have like a single value to control the scale of this face. And then after I scale the face, I'm using this uh, extrude regions. And this is, uh, you can see the data we have is, uh, we have currently we have 18. This data is actually dynamics depending on the number of the face. So I can have less or I can have more. I can increase this. You know, it's, uh, so we have some kind of like a, a grid for our building or something. And and this guy, extrude, of course, will be doing its job if we give it, a, uh, we give it a, some kind of value. So I have the setup currently looking, looking like this. It will be nice to have some kind of uh, randomness like so and oh you might notice um, this guy right here this building is getting a lot of splitting that's because of uh, this uh, multiplier and then this because of this list split so I think I need to plug that there so now we have some kind of building with a uh, all with a kind of random number to split the height of every floor um yeah something like that so i think this one actually controlling 
the level of the building would would be nice if we have we actually have control over how many floor and then the height itself i think i'm getting i think it's possible just by changing the nodes a little bit but so far uh this is what i have so we can have like random random building height with random uh, level division so yeah because this is uh, like i said it gets very interesting once we have like uh, this uh, multiple data um, i think spreadshot can go like multiple times in term of leveling so I, that's why this is why list split become important once you have like a because we started like a we have a single grid mesh and then we split the polygon into all uh, into all uh, different elements so we are splitting into like a smaller level of objects so in the end if we bake it out we're gonna have uh, this x number of um, objects you can of course join them together into a single mesh and if you just use like a mesh join so this will keep everything as a single object which is pretty cool because you can always go back at you know use different random value and we get different clump of uh, some kind of city it's still pretty uh pretty rigid kind of city it's pretty uh not so natural but i think we can randomize it a little bit more randomize the seed give a different height or width for the brick But you see, I think the floor, uh, I mean, the this part right here, currently we have brick grids, but you can change this with any kind of, um, like a 2D, 2D that representing the city. And I think this is uh, kind of like up one level from what I have before. So if you ever want to change this, so I'm holding shift and then cut it, you can use the normal plane I think it will work Let's plug that in so normal plane works just as fine so this one of course normal plane is just like a four-sided yeah but I think this is looking pretty interesting bake it and you get some kind of city but I like uh, what we have before because we are using uh, the brick nodes so the brick grid and we have quite sophisticated um, setup there for the center I think you can also randomize the center so we, we have control right here so we um, if we get rid of the mesh join and we are back to this guy we have this matrix and then we can actually like use a random random vector for example and then just place them at random position or use rewire and by doing this we are really like scattering this building into certain area like that based on the random vector position so we have now we have 29 random transform position and 29 objects and we can always m merge them together into a single objects once again but not gonna do that but this is what I mean of course you can always you know get get the center position of each face from this guy 
and then connect it all the way into that guy so we have we have this and we can use a vector mark and if I'm not wrong just a uh, just multiply by scalar something like that and then you can even randomize it in X and Y of course so you get something that's a little bit more organic if that if that's what you want or a city that's more organic so yeah that's a a quick look at this uh, node setup it's a uh, quite interesting I found and I will share it I will share this node tree at github um, hopefully this is useful maybe you can use it I don't know what for but um, you can learn something from all this kind of a wired well, wiring of nodes um, yeah uh, let me know what you think and thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye